my relatively short and quick visit to Amsterdam has been filled with wonderful lessons. Sometimes as a photographer there are days you wake up feeling unmotivated and you don't feel creative. And sometimes you're literally just not in the mood of taking pictures. And that's okay. But here's my advice. If you're not feeling it and you're going somewhere, just carry your camera with you wherever you go. Even if you don't intend to shoot or you're not inspired to take pictures, just put it in your bag. Keep the setup light and simple. Leave the other gears and gadgets behind so you'll be able to carry a simple point and shoot setup. Because there will be a moment in your journey or in your destination that may change your mood, inspire you and will ignite your creativity which will motivate you to take that picture. It's better to have it ready for those moments than wishing in the end that you'd wish you'd taken your camera with you. When we visited Amsterdam, we were only there for one night and one day from a four day cruise. We arrived there at 7 p.m. and on that night as we docked, we went straight to the red light district to see some night view. And then the day after, we wander around the dam square and that's pretty much just about it. Like I said, it was really a sweet and short visit. Initially, I didn't have the intention to take pictures, but for some reason, I carry the camera with me for just in case reason, <laughs> you'll never know. And true enough, after roaming around the place and seeing how beautiful structurally and culturally Amsterdam is, it has changed my mood and my motivation, which then I eventually started taking pictures. And I was so glad that I carried my camera with me. This is just a very simple walkthrough photography. If I was traveling on my own, I would have taken a more relaxed approach and maybe perhaps more time to compose and think about how to capture the images. But I didn't want to hold everyone else back. So this is me just snapping away as we walk around Amsterdam, not thinking about any photography rules, framing rules or creative angles. The pictures that you see here were literally what I saw through my eyes and through the lens of my camera. Traveling teaches you valuable lessons. In Amsterdam, there's this particular story that really caught my attention and that was the story of this little girl named Anne. I know she's already famous and I don't need to tell her story. Anne tragically died at a very young age. This is why I like portrait photography. Portrait photography immortalizes those people and their memories and the stories they tell. It's a way of storytelling for years and for generations to come. Visiting the house where they hid during the war and physically being there just sends you that reality check that Anne's story was meant to tell us. We who live in the now that the effects of war do no good. Anne's story was meant to be a reminder to us that war should not happen in this day and age. It should have never happened to begin with. But sadly, if you look around and see what's happening around the world, war still exists. Deaths of innocent people, including children, still exist. Families are being torn separated and displaced due to war. Come to think about it, somewhere out there is another Anne who is suffering and is trying to survive a war, which is sad and just hard to process in this day and age. Maybe we as human race never learned a lesson. Perhaps maybe Anne died in vain after all. And that's just sad.